check the mic and make sure it sound right boy. Hey guys how's it going electron man well we're uh, working on the cobra 2000 today but uh um i'm doing a recap on it since i lost the final in and i thought i hadn't recapped it since i got it thought i'll go ahead and recap it but this video is not about recapping it it's about these uh two sc 1969 transistors and uh, i'm going to kind of show you a little interesting thing i've found out about uh about uh, these transistors. Um, I actually have some that I purchased off of eBay actually a couple years ago. And uh, they're actually marked. Let's see if I can get this to where. You went out here. They're actually marked as a. They're actually marked as a Mitsubishi part. I don't know if that's going to focus in there or not. But, uh, that's the one I bought off of eBay a couple years ago, and it's 2SC1969. Shows as a Mitsubishi part, and um, I've used them before, but I want to show you some interesting things I found out. Um, you know, obviously, I'm sure it's a counterfeit. It's a Chinese counterfeit, but they work. I mean, I've, you know, I've had success with them. But um, anyway, um, now that we got a new player in the market on uh, 2SC1969s, I've got this uh, HG. 2SC 1969. Hopefully you're getting a good view of that. I don't know if that's going to zoom in good or not. But anyway, so there, there's your two different transistors. Well, what the interesting thing is, is I found out is that uh, for one thing, we'll go in and I'm, I'm going to actually put one of these Chinese clones in here and I'm going to put one of the H22, HG 2SC 1969s and we're going to see uh, if there's any difference in performance. I have found one thing already very interesting and that is a uh, Got my little uh, multi-tester transistor tester here, and I'm going to put this as the Chinese clone one here. I'm going to put it in the tester here. I'm going to go ahead and log her down, and then I'm going to run a test on it. As, in, as, as you can see, it's an MPN transistor like it should be. It's got a HFE of 170. Um, I mean, everything's there, 6.1 milliamp. Um, and it uh, shows you, you know, the base and the collector and emitter. And, uh, I mean, it, it's obviously a brand new transistor and it tests good. Well, okay. so there's what it looks like. Okay, now then, we take this one out. And now we're going to put one of these brand new HG 269 or HG 1969 uh, transistors in here. And we're going to run a test on it. And I want to show you the real interesting thing is um, it's got an HFE of... 108 uh, 6.1 milliamp um, pretty much looks pretty similar there but notice right there on the diagram this appears to have a diode between the base or the emitter and the collector that ah, dang it quit shutting off hopefully you're seeing that but see that right there it actually detects that there's a, uh, a, a diode symbol there in between the, the emitter and the collector an interesting thing is, is that um, I noticed on this this uh, Cobra 2000 that the uh, that I've got one in here temporary, and that uh, when I went to set the bias on it, it's like it's not pulling any bias off the final. I mean, it's transmitting power. In fact, uh, let me get you switched over here, and we'll show you um, how I did this. Actually, I've got this uh, latest on this side. As you can see here, I've just got that transistor. I didn't actually mount it to the heat sink because I'm not going to be transmitting on it long enough to uh, to cause any issues. But uh, as you can see, I've got the transistor mounted in here, and this is one of the Chinese clone ones. Well, whenever I uh, power on here and uh, get over here on the dummy load and go over to uh, get switched over here, here's my output power. Now, mind you, this is not adjusting the BIOS or, or, or uh, Realigning the uh, the pots for the final for the change out final, but uh, just took the old one out, put this one in. I wanted to see if it worked. You know if that's what the problem was. Well, this one on this final here. Here's what my output wattage is. That's RMS, 2.5 watts. So I mean it's you know, I mean it's it's doing its job. Um, I'm dropping down there, I'm probably getting hot since I don't have it on a heat sink. I don't go too long. But anyway, um, 2.5 is what I'm getting out of the, the output of that transistor. But the weird thing is, is I'm not able to adjust the bias. So now we're gonna take that out and I'm gonna install the HG 
uh, that which I have read is the best um, replacement transistor out on the market for uh, for a replacement for the original 1969. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put that in, and then we're going to come back and see what. Uh, and we're going to do the same thing. We're not going to turn any pots in it. We're not going to do any alignment or anything. We're just going to see if I see a difference between the Chinese clone and these new HD uh, 1969s. So I'll be back when I get that swapped out and we'll take a look at the readings and see what we turn out. Okay guys, now, oh, is that dirty? It's a clean doctor. Um, okay, I've got the, the HG 2SC 1969 now installed in my Cobra 2000. And now we're going to do the exact same test again. I have not touched anything other than I installed the HG 1969. You saw what my power output was before, RMS. Let's take and see what the difference is with the HG 2SC 1969. So we'll bring her up here. We'll pull her up to power and 4.3, four and a half watts. That's actually even better than the final that was originally in there. Look at that, guys. I think that tells the whole story. Um, if you're going to replace finals and you want to go back with the 2SC1969 HG, it's for the win. Totally different. And by the way, now I, I'm pretty sure I'll probably be able to adjust the bias. Um, uh, but yeah, it, no matter. It a uh, huge difference. Double the power. Don't buy those Chinese knockoffs. Spend a few extra dollars and get you an HG1969. And I am not in any way affiliated with HG or do I get anything for this. This is just real world test. This is what I found with the Chinese knockoff 1969s that were quote Mitsubishi and uh, a real HG. They didn't make it like it's a something that it's not 1969. Uh, the difference is just in the in the proof. Proof in the pudding. You know what can you say? Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this little uh, short video. It's not going to be too long of one. Uh, I'll come back as I get the, the 2000 back up and running, and we'll cover the repair on that and the recap and all that. But I just kind of wanted to take a second and break off and uh, show you the interesting test that I came up with the uh, the 1969 finals and uh, the direction we need to go as techs out here as far as repairing radios. As always, have a great day. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It's free. And uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you got any questions, Give me a give me a question. I'm happy to answer it.